Let me show you what she did. I'm gonna show you exactly what she did. And I ain't gonna sit up here and lie because I can't say that this didn't warrant getting slapped. Ready? Mm -hmm. exactly. What's she doing? What's she doing? <laughs> no, sit like you normal. Yeah, that's how you're gonna be sitting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now stop it. Look at the boss lady in action. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> this is What They Won't Say, and I'm your host, UA, and I'm here along with Courtney Lynette. And your girl Becky with the I. Gang, gang. gang. You know, and today, um, well, before we even get into today's subject, of course, there's something we want to talk about. We want to, I, I. Well, Becky with the I, gang, gang, wants to talk about. <laughs> so, a couple episodes ago, like, at, right at the beginning of our, se our second season, we talked about uh, how we cancel people, right? <laughs> cancel culture. If you're yes. not familiar with it, go back. It's titled, The One Where We May Get Canceled. So go watch it. Yeah. So about this canceling shit, since I know what this means now, I want to cancel the baby. All right. So I've been, you know, looking on my social media and I seen that he slapped a <laughs> shoot out of somebody this past week. A female, like not just like anybody, but a female. And, I, and UA was like, well, I can understand Wait, why. I, I speak for me. No worries. I got but, this. <laughs> oh, you want me to get into it? Okay. <laughs> and we're not laughing because it's funny we're laughing because it's true I'm laughing no. right the thing is that yes the baby slapped somebody in the face no he slapped the shit out of somebody <laughs> was it the dog shit or was it regular like, human open shit? hand and yeah. she fell like so, she hit the ground let me let Shame me showed it. Shout to say thing. we have seen the baby over his what how many years has it been been one one good year maybe yeah, like one, one solid year. Like one, one solid, solid year, year of yeah. growth and he, we he, have known back home. the baby to have a very short fuse. And there are a couple things you don't do with the baby. You said what? He must not have had a daddy growing up. Oh, no. You can't. Uh, his dad died when his album, in the same week that Nipsey Hussle died. His dad died. But did he know him, though? Yes. Um, his his album cover is a picture of his dad holding so was him. A, okay. Did he but, know him though? Yes. He talks about his dad all the time. Oh, okay. Maybe his dad had a short fuse. Yeah. Maybe he did. Maybe My dad abused is, him. This is out. what happened. And now he's abusing everybody else. <sighs> this is what they won't say. Edit. We have to remind. Edit check. Oh Jesus! I gotta say that. We have to remind ourselves every episode that this is what they won't say. And though our opinions are strong and very opinionated, it's not necessarily the views of the entire cast. So and I'm not scared of the baby, so. Because <laughs> he's smack bitches, so be careful. I'm yeah, saying. ain't nobody safe from the he baby. Could, Allegedly. He could, he could try to slap. Thank you. You're welcome. Allegedly, bro. It's a video. <laughs> you got to say it until he, he, convi he get convicted. You got to say allegedly. He it apologized. Alleg he allegedly. allegedly. He you apologized. I'm just saying. Y'all on that Black Lives Matter. <laughs> no, that's a legal ramification that you take. That's he why allegedly we've shows... seen him slap shut somebody. Exactly. There is an alleged video. video. He asked. Of the he baby asked. Can, can, can people send out a different angle of it to show that, like, why he slapped the shit out of the person? Allegedly. allegedly. Hey, the baby. <laughs> DM me, bro, and explain that he slapped the shit out of this person. Allegedly. Allegedly. All right, go ahead with your he got a daddy anyway, story. <laughs> my point is, yes, he does have a dad, but he... Technically, we all have dads, guys. You, he is an active dad. Well. Um, <laughs> there. Any, any other questions? <laughs> but let me get less good. I know what you're He slapped... Um, this woman in the face. Allegedly. Allegedly. And there's an alleged video. Because this woman, I mean, we're going to have to say allegedly, flashed her camera so directly why, in So why are you going to say allegedly face. that he slapped her, but allegedly that, but won't say allegedly she puts her he camera? He did. He said we have oh, to I say apologize. allegedly she. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you said. Right. I apologize. Sorry. Because she that. allegedly <laughs> flashed her camera directly in his face. And we know the baby to have a short view. There have been plenty of videos, plenty of. Um, plenty of videos of him, what, allegedly, of him allegedly beating up people, right? You know, and that least. Instagram video, I don't have to say allegedly because he was right there saying that he did it, you know. Although, might have he might have him and his crew might have did it, but anyway, the point is, 
That's one thing you don't do. Oh, he's I don't care if it's the baby. Me. I don't care if it's me, huh? He's having a nigga jump. Well, no, this dude, uh, Cam Colehar, said that he was um was talking junk to him, and they they both Charlotte rappers. They grew up together. Real quick story. They they came up. This in a Gucci store, some shit, there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, and the baby made it. Cam Colehar didn't. Cam Colehar decided to approach the baby inside of the Gucci store, and got beat up. But by his crew, by him and his crew, though, right? Yeah, but that's a jump. But we the baby said, that's a jump, right? Huh? Well, the baby said it was him by himself. We hey, we seen the story. video. We just know that Cam Colehart was on the floor with his pants down looking like food. Yeah, in the video, it didn't have multiple people in yeah. it. it he, just, and then he took Cam Colehart's phone and started filming. The ass was <laughs> here, so, sir. So, at the end of the day, we but, have come to the conclusion that the baby is a savage. My point is, y'all have to learn to respect people's this light is personal space. I don't okay. care if you're a man, a woman, whatever. Respect people's personal space. It's okay to I mean, take a picture. And the baby, the same thing. Respect people's personal space. You ain't gotta, you have a whole crew. No, you do not have to go slapping the hell out of people. I mean, I mean, sometimes, sometimes you do have still, to open hand and slap bitches. Sometimes. I but like when you're a celebrity though. You're putting a different life. Like I said, when you're a celebrity, that's a whole different story because people are look like, people want to film you. Want Like one people know that they're in the same club as you and stuff like that. So, it's a different story of a random, which it doesn't happen to me as but often as you think. But random people taking, putting their camera in my face. I'm not taking my phone and going. Because you can see the you can see the flash. Like the baby is dark skinned. And he dark. But but that so, but he's a celebrity though. So that right. I mean what are you gonna do? Slap every photographer that comes in? His I mean, too? it was probably, it was like a two second reaction. He was within the window of reaction. Mm. Oh well in that case, don't worry about it. We can not cancel him. <laughs> Yeah, the five second rule. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I get, I get both sides of the argument. At the end of the day, I don't condone putting your hands on another, on another individual, be it male or female, for no, for, for if someone's not intending on physically harming you, she bless you. It could be a fan that possibly got overzealous. I'm sorry. Excited. We know it's you can say too. overzealous. Just, right. just saying. But um, I can understand if a fan gets so like hype in seeing somebody that they're a fan of, and maybe getting a little too close for comfort. But at the end of the day, yeah, he's a celebrity, but he's also a human being, and he's been very vocal about his personal space. He takes his personal space very seriously and then on the flip side of that where was his team because he was walking with him i mean i get that but if he was walking with him if i if i'm walking through a crowded area and y'all supposed to be part of my circle i wouldn't with y'all knowing how i am about personal touch or people being in my bubble i wouldn't expect somebody to even be able to get that close to me so he to where I could sec- smack. So he need to hire us as a security guard. He needs to get a better team because, is all I'm yeah. saying. Well, he got that one big dude. That dude is huge. Just because he... You talking about Kane? First of all, Kane is fine. But the big dude that was right there, yeah. the graham cracker looking dude, yes, he is if fine. If you ever bring that nigga to my house and he try to sit on my stools at my house. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that dude, is, he take up a whole couch by himself. He's like he's six, eight. And but why? But the thing is... If I still fight him, if like yeah, that's oh. one that's one dude in a crowded area, he could have had his back turned for a second. If he's with a whole group, I of actually people, do think his security was ahead of him, like clearing out the way, right? In but the video and she snuck through, so like it's like, but no, she ain't sneak through. It was a line of people. Nah, yeah, My thing is, if you through, you are a celebrity, oh. you know people are trying to get to you. Yeah, you have to understand that. There are people who are always going to reach out and touch you. Now, for these people who are fans of the baby, y'all should know. Enter at your own risk. What is going to happen if you <laughs> like, exactly essentially at your but own the thing risk? Is, but all right, all right. In, in all that, that's facts. All right. Mm-hmm. But my, my, my thing, too, is that he didn't slap the phone out of her hand, y'all. No, he, he slapped he her. He dog shit slapped her. Like, he slapped her face. Like... I can't stand you, you black whore, and slapped her whoa, face. Whoa, whoa, he ain't say none of that, allegedly. No, she said like, white. Like, that's, that's how he smacked her, white. Oh. It was like, shorty hit the floor. Well. So it wasn't, but, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, sorry. I don't know if you can't 
it is it's getting all, all sorry so I it wasn't it good. wasn't like he just like slapped the, slapped the phone out here and that's something different you know i i'm a, I, I get you a new iphone back whatever I mean, he bypassed her fucking hand and slapped her. So you can't get her the newest face. Yeah, like, look, uh, she may need. I don't she might have a new face at this point. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> he and might like, have rearranged her. He didn't just like. He didn't just, Allegedly, he didn't just like. Like my man, open palm. Did he rear back? back? Like now nah, he. I mean, and it was a reaction for sure because you could see it. But you sure he fell to the ground, but. But so here's my takeaway from that because y'all gotta understand. If you know the baby and you know his history, that doesn't make excuses. That you make excuses. I'm not saying I'm making excuses for the man. I'm saying that people, well, he, don't need to, he don't need to be in the crowd of people. He, no, he don't need to be. He, he don't need to be. We're not does. condoning it. I'm not condoning slapping anybody. I'm not condoning putting your hands on. But anybody. if you know this man, but if you know, that's like. If you know, if he know that he um he he will slap shut somebody, he needs to not. But be maybe that was the only path. But that's my my point is is that that's the path his security was taking. Respect on. people's that, personal. From space. what I understand from y'all story, because I haven't seen the video. Yeah. Yeah. So respect people's personal space. And if you know somebody's history and they a hothead, like I think what, at your own risk. I think what UA is trying to say is. You know, um, you know, a pit bull on your block has a history of biting people. You don't then walk up to the pit bull and exactly. stick your hand in his mouth. Like I'm not saying that's that his was, argument. I'm not saying he was right. I'm saying that whoever did it should have known better. I think you're not gonna run up on it. You're not gonna put your hand on a grill knowing that it's hot. I mean, and then get mad at the grill. You touch it at your own risk. I think everyone should just abide by being treated as a human being. Like that girl, if she was famous, she wouldn't want somebody coming and sticking a flashlight in front of her face. However, the baby had other options where he, maybe he could have took a less invasive approach. Like maybe he could have sh shook the shit out of her. Allegedly. No, he could not have shook. That would be even worse. Yeah. I think mean, they took it down, bro. No, of course they took it down. They had to. But why would that be worse? I'm a, but, I'm a firm advocate of shaking somebody. I'll shake you before I smack you. Are y'all looking up the video? Got it. Oh, you got, you got it. All right. Oh no, he offered her ten thousand dollars. Yeah, to see the for the different angles. The baby stops home offers ten thousand dollars. Video of her hitting him. Hit oh, him. he said she hit him, but she uh, didn't hit him. But she ain't hit him. She just look. Okay, so that's on the floor already. Yeah. So they were close. Sorry, y'all. We gotta show the video. So right. Please excuse us. Wait a minute. I'm gonna turn the block off. Cause it's not doing anything. Right now. Oh, it's Is that the same video? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. One more time. Make sure we... Look! Look at that. Did you see that camera? Okay, but okay. So I see why he didn't smack the phone out of her hand because it was already down by the time. Yeah, but by that time, if it's already down, then why? Then why? He it was, ain't no. But she was like, like I mean, you know. what I'm saying is that like she was like this, and her phone was down. So it wasn't like she's like this. He slapped the phone on her hand. It's like this, and he hogs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he felt disrespectful. One more time, y'all. Just so y'all can see it, just to be sure. Just. Okay, here's my concern. Because it don't even look like he put a, a lot of... So how strong is this nigga? Like, <laughs> this nigga just said it looked like from... Right, nah, you can slap hard from right here, bro. Like, he slapped shit but, no, He like, had some you know, biceps behind that smack. Allegedly. Y see them, them, but y'all see them tight-ass turtleneck sweaters he be wearing. Allegedly. So, no, that's not allegedly. That shit's <laughs> real. Wear that. You that's seen the BET exactly. awards. Y'all not about to have shirt. the baby drive to Raleigh to smack the dog I, I, out of me is all I'm saying. I if wish the, the baby would smack the baby. Check this out. The baby. First of all, your name is the baby. All right. His name is Kurt. No, his rapper name is his rapper name is the baby. Okay. Um, I, I I want you to come to Raleigh <laughs> and try to stop shut any one of us at this table. Well, here come on, we can't be sending threats to the baby. Right, you don't have no reason to smack me, but at the I'm end of the day, I'm with like, the shits. If you're trying to pull up, that's what I was trying to say. I'm not saying that, like, because I actually like like some of your music. Right, I'm we like, we be bopping to it. <laughs> bop. <laughs> yeah. but, but it was jamming to it before we started. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, now you're trying to backtrack because I'm just saying. Not at all. I, I like the man that like his music. I don't want to put his hands on me. I'm I be saying, not I be, like that, man. Because I'm a cry. If you don't slap <laughs> me like that, I'm a cry. And I'm going to put a boot there. And, and that's just embarrassing. Like, you embarrassed. She can't like, go back to the club. At all. Like, and then where was her friends? Because it's they like. Call her they they were picking her up yeah. off the ground. Okay, but my friends, but, I would expect y'all to, like, jump on him or oh, something. Oh, hell yeah. Like, like it would have been. It would have been. Nothing. Don't pick me up. I'm going to be good. What's your like, boy name? What? What's her boy name that be with him? Kane? Yeah. Now imagine me jumping in the air and him Kane was him. already ahead. He would have had to turn around. Hey, look, and Kane, Kane would have had to walk buy back it. his way back to the crowd. Hey, look. Hey, Courtney, I got you. Sis. Kane would have had to buy his way. Let me ask you a question now. Would you have flashed your phone and right directly in his face? No, but we not ghetto and ratchet like that. Different shows for different folks. Yeah. She just wanted his attention and she got it. Well, she yeah. got it. Now, now well, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not saying that I don't think that the chick was wrong. Like, yeah, I uh-huh. think... Huh? No, go ahead. I think that the chick was out of, out of pocket for being dead in his face like That's that with her soul. I'm like, yeah. Like, I mean, she could have a so flash on and recorded him. Who was like, wrong? Whatever. They both, they both were wrong. wrong. Okay. Two wrong. Yeah, they both were wrong. Sure. I was bringing sure. the fact up, like, because he dog slapped shit out of her. But at the end of the day, I'm not canceling him because if the bop come on in the car, I'm going to still be like, boom, 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 mm-hmm. in the car. That's just. Mm-hmm. Is okay. that the dance? Yeah. yeah. You've never. Wait, you never watched the video? We'll show you after. That is a time. wonderful video. It is. The fact Danny that it was on Broadway was just dope. Danny Lee choreographed it. No. Mm-hmm. Oh. And like the dancers, yeah, that, that whole, anyway. So, yeah. we good on the baby now? Today's main topic. Now. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't care the whole half an hour. Well, no, because this was. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, only right. did 19 minutes or okay, so. Okay. We got different names. Really like 15. We, we, cool. we, we moving on up in the world. Are we? So. Today's main topic has to do with us as just regular people. Listen, day-to-day people, bro. Day-to-day people. Normal is offensive. Day-to-day to people. Yeah, because normal okay. is normal. See y'all. I already see y'all um, gym buffs ready to go crazy in the comment section. This is not for y'all. Okay. It's also not for y'all niggas that decide on December 31st that y'all gonna get beach body ready mm-hmm. and then stop by January 2nd. That's not for y'all either. Hold on, just bro. listen. Hold on. I'm just you? Playing. It was you? No. I, <laughs> I, don't, I never make that um, yeah, me dedication because I know I'm yeah. just getting consistent with it. So, yeah. Yeah. And it's years March. are not gonna make a new me. I just know yeah. that. So, yeah. anyway, but <laughs> today's March. subject is basically about health and wellness. For normal, no day to day, day to day people. And when he say day to day people, he means first of all, I don't sound like that. He <laughs> means we we yeah. about to go start mocking people. That's that's what you really want to do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> day to day people, health and wellness for day to day people. Okay, we're talking about the ones that don't exercise as much. We're talking about the ones that just live and not. Day to day, live day to day and be chilling. So what about them? So, I'm glad you asked. So, it is okay not to go to the gym every day. Okay? It's okay not to go to the gym three times a week. Is it okay to not go to the gym? No. It's days. okay to go. <laughs> it's okay not to go to the gym. No days. Great. It is completely Put me fine. in that category. Please understand that. All right. Now, what is not okay is doing nothing at all. I don't so what care. What category you in again, Courtney? There's some in the not okay because we took that turn real quick. See. <laughs> But that's not, but my thing is, it's not. Courtney went from this we, one category to the whole thing. Like, we, we gotta do something. Like, y'all seen the movie, um. Get Out. No, no, no. Uh, the one with, um, the robot. Wally. No. You never seen Wally? No. I never seen the whole movie. Did you see Wally? Mm-mm. No. Okay. She don't have kids. It's okay. Well, Wally basically <laughs> was about a robot and. I'm going to get to the point because I really haven't seen the whole movie. But I know at some point or another, the people that were, because the world was being ran by robots, kind of like the way the the way things are shaping now, how we're always in our phones and how our kids don't go outside and play anymore, things like that. 
See, always in our phones. Um, I'm just so excited. Okay, y'all, like, sorry. I'm so excited because the Lady Wolfpack, uh, NC State Wolfpack, uh, just won the ACC championship, and that is my team. And it's the first one since 91, right? It's the first one since 91. And I have. Okay. Uh -huh. That is very exciting. And I have uh -huh. Fan Bam on, on, that plays on the team, so. Okay, go Lady Wolfpack. Oh, uh, what's. I don't know. What is it? Oh, my bad. I, I don't know. I'm a Duke fan, so. Yeah, but it's okay to celebrate. But no, I'm I'm cool. I'm, That's what, I'm celebrating. Go Lady Wolf back. Bring it I'm, back. I'm all about women in sports. I love it. Speaking anyway. of sports, they yeah. they work out a lot. Who? Basketball. Yes, they like, do. Oh, yeah. Because they, they have I just to needed a way to bring themselves. it back. Yeah. They have to condition themselves and be ready. But my <laughs> point is, y'all have to, like I said, the people in Wally were like huge and riding around on these big things. Like, they were fat. It was disgusting. And so fat people on wheelchairs are disgusting? No. I'm, I said in the movie. I said nothing. Just clarify. I said in the movie. I just wanted to clarify. Okay. All right. And I'm not even, and my thing is I'm not even fat shaming because it's okay to be big and healthy as well. Like there are plenty of people who are big and healthy. I mean, look at, look at, and this is not, not that all softball players are big, all football players are big mm -hmm. or at that, but like when you look at. Kane is big and healthy. It, <laughs> When you look at like athletes of, of athletes from different okay. sports, or even like post players in basketball, like mm -hmm. they're all they're they're right. of a thicker built, but they're still as healthy as right. the skinniest person on their team. Exactly, there are people who are big and they're fast. Yeah, that was like, my first time seeing a big fast person was this dude that actually you know Abdullah, Bam's brother. Oh my gosh, where have you been? You used to talk anyway. My point is, it was you. I was running down the street one day. We were running from somebody, and he flew past me like there was I was cops. nothing, huh? There no, we were cops. not running from the cops. We only well, we because, probably were because yeah. we lived in Warner Ridge. But anyway, I so. never ran from the cops, and I lived in Warner Ridge. Well, you stayed in I never ran from the cops either, and I never lived there either. But <laughs> getting back to it, like, like I this is not this is not fat shaming I'm because you can also you can also be skinny. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> unhealthy. That's so, that's true. That's so true. So I'm not saying my thing is do not sit up here and eat like a pound of what burgers every day. I'm one of those people that don't do nothing. So I'm just listening. I'm taking so you, it all in. You might need to take some notes then. I'm, I'm looking. Right. Did you want your book? Yeah, he's just trying me. I said I was listening. You said you was. I said you might want to take some notes. I'm you want to do it in my little tablet? No, thank you. So when he needs to go to, I'm waiting for him to come up with a plan or something. He just told well, me. Well, I'm saying in today's society because there's no, there's never going to be a real set plan for what people want to do as far as getting their health together. But well, people, you can people make promises all the time to do better. But shoot, it is way harder and way more expensive to eat healthy than it is to eat better. Wait, what? It is way harder and way more expensive. To eat healthy than to eat better? Yes. I think you said oh, excuse that wrong. me. My bad. Yep. To eat healthy than to eat like crap. Yes. Well, the thing, too, people have to understand is that, like, well, people, I think we're starting to learn is that um, you can still eat the the normal day-to-day -day food. It's just you, uh, portion control is also a big thing. Right. So like doesn't mean you have like we I feel like as uh, as Americans we eat because we just like the, the way things taste. Yes. So like one thing that available. And it's well it's available too. But like say we we go and cook. Like one thing I try to do is that because I I'm not going to the gym five days a week mm -hmm. and I'm not giving up the type of food I like to eat. So one thing I try to do is that like when I when I do eat, I put whatever on my plate. Um, I like. I put enough to make to make me full, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And if once I'm full, I don't go back for seconds until I'm hungry again. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and I think for us, it's like we'll be full, and I, I don't care what nobody says. Everyone feels like this. We, we'll we will be full off of what we have on our plate, mm -hmm. but because the ribs is hitting, the macaroni cheese is cheesy. Like we're gonna go back and get more because it tastes good. Right. Bro, the the food ain't running out the door. Like mm -hmm. you can always go back later on and get more food you know what i mean once you're hungry so i realized that once i started doing that i started eating more often mm -hmm. um during the day but smaller portions right you know what i mean so it gives my body like my body's actually breaking something down right. uh instead of the must like you know what i mean like it's not 
a large number of fat that my body's mm -hmm. breaking. Like, I don't have that extra fat that's sitting right. there after my body has broken that, the fat that is breaking down. Right. And me personally, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to eliminate certain foods. Not eliminate them. That's because true, yeah. You will never really be, like, I love cheese. Yeah. And I don't understand how anybody can take that away from me. So, or like way. sodas, like sodas but, are really yeah. bad for you, but like, mm -hmm. so I try to cut out sodas, but I catch myself like once in a while, I'll like, I'll drink or crack open a soda and have a sip mm -hmm. just so I can get that little right. taste. But then I start realizing though, too, if you go a, a, a good amount of time without a, a food or a drink, mm -hmm. especially drinks, when you drink it, like, the, like, I went a whole year without drinking soda, and then when I drink one it was like it it tasted weird to me like it didn't taste like a soda it happens it tastes like, it legit tastes like sugar to me mm -hmm. so with that that's just food now let's talk about um oh wait do you have anything to say no not at all no not a little bit i kind of just eat what i have a taste for okay <laughs> so i'm the so type of eater where if like at times I do crave healthy food, like mm -hmm. I may be like, oh, I want a salad today, or mm -hmm. I might want to snack on celery instead of snacking on fries or something. Right, right. So I'll have different moments and throughout the week that I'll be like, mm, no, I think I want something green, or I think I really want a bottle of water over having a sweet tea or something. But that's okay, right? right and that's then fine. that's how I talk myself into, oh well. I'm choosing a healthier alternative so like so so <laughs> how would like as a person that doesn't because it because i feel like me and malik we we are one foot in one foot out type yeah, right I now um <laughs> is where it's it's a process for us or like you know we are like trying the, the workout mm -hmm. and things like that and I, and I do think it comes a lot with like the activities we do you get what i mean right, right. um but like so courtney for you who you you work a nine nine to five. Job. Yeah, you mm -hmm. work a nine to five in the office. Like what like what could be some and that's the thing is that like set set goals. Like that's one thing I did was set goals. Mm -hmm. So I went from like instead of just like not drinking sodas, I went from all right, I only have a soda at lunchtime. Right. You know what I mean? All right, I went from that to all right, I only I will only have a soda the days I work. Mm -hmm. All right, I only have a soda like, you know, once a week or right. something like that. So like what what are some goals that you can set for yourself to to for food, just for food wise, like being at your office or being for around. me so i've noticed that i've been snacking healthier at work mm -hmm. because my job provides like a break room that stops with mm -hmm. snacks and they happen to have healthier snack alternatives so instead of me going to mcdonald's and getting like a breakfast sandwich i'll be like oh no i could just get a cup of coffee and a banana from work right, right. See, so cool. and that's just me being cheap because i'll be like oh, i don't really want to spend money today but right. <laughs> like you don't you don't spend time literally clogging your arteries like yeah. right like, but i also don't do anything like physically demanding because mm -hmm. like it's so easy for me Wait, my day starts let me also say at one point courtney was in the gym i so really long. was and she still likes the gym she just don't feel like going so let me just clear that. I don't yeah. like sweating. I think is my biggest problem. Don't look at me like that. I can see you in the camera. Second, <laughs> second of all, it's I don't just like sweating. It's so easy for I don't me. Like I mean, I'm you're nasty. It's so easy for me because mm -hmm. my day starts at six thirty in the morning and it doesn't end sometimes until like seven eight o'clock at night. It's so easy for me to get in the house and just be like, okay, I'm going to just sit down for 15 minutes and then I'm going to get up and like do something where I'm moving around. But in honesty, when I get in that sitting down mode, it's like, okay. Well, that's for everybody. I'm I mean, in for the night. Yeah, yeah. Every time you sit down. And that's, a, that's one thing that me and... Uh, and Upper management? Yeah, my like upper management have talked about is that like... It's easy, like, once you just go from work or whatever like that, because she's a man, but she does the same thing. She works in the office. That, like, it's easy just to go straight from work because your mindset's already, like, on a go mm -hmm. instead of coming home first. Because once you go home, it's over because that's anybody. You don't want to do anything once you get to the crib, you right. know? I think so. I could set more goals if I had someone depending on me. Like, if I had a workout partner or somebody that I went to the gym with. Right. On an average, like, on a daily basis. I think that's for a lot of people. Because if I had yeah. if I had a partner to be like, hey, yo, where you at? And then it's easier for me to be like, all right, I'm on my way. I don't want to let my partner down. Right, right. So I would go. 
And it's okay, but that's a, that's a good point. Like having an accountability partner is always good. Like somebody yeah. that holds you accountable. And this is not just for working out; this is just for life. Period. But yeah, working out is definitely a good motivate. Like that'd be a good motivation. And I'm not saying you got to go to the gym and you know, uh, as the Rock says, you know, bang and clang and nah, you know, go go to the gym and gym. three three yeah. point two miles every day. Like that's not something you have. Start to Start light. Like go to the gym and start on the treadmill and just walking. Walk. Or it's like the weather's starting to get nice, bro. Get a partner. You, you and your, you have, you have a son. You and your son. Y- y'all, hey, let's go for a walk. You right. know what I mean? And whether that's, that's going around the block three times, or he's riding his bike and and you're walking, or you know, doing whatever. Like, and that gives you that that one on one time with just him. Right. right. Um. And like like becoming healthy also helps like with your mental status too. I was just about to say that. Like we, your eating habits and your exercise is a direct reflection. And I think a lot of our people are not, like we use our jobs or our social lives as an excuse of why we're not exercising. Mm -hmm. But the way you eat and the way you exercise is a direct Mm -hmm. like reflection Mm -hmm. of your, in some cases, your mental health as well. So like, you might choose a cheeseburger over a salad and then mm-hmm. feel really down about yourself because maybe you're going through something that week or maybe you're feeling a little bit down. Right. And in our history, we like to we like to say, uh, I'm feeling a little bit off mm-hmm. or I'm not feeling like myself. We really when, got depression. Right. Really, you're depressed yeah. and there's something going on. And I think mental health plays a big part in your physical health as well. Yeah. I think a lot in like a lot of people in our community. Uh, yeah. That word was too simple. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people in our community would benefit so much if you just had someone. It doesn't have to be someone you're sleeping with. It mm-hmm. doesn't. I what? actually don't like. I don't. I don't like. I think it's uh, best that it's not someone that you are in a relationship. No, 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 no. No. no me, upper management, we work Look. out, but it's. I think it's best that it's not somebody that you are in a relationship with because. Dude. It should not. I mean, yeah. if y'all can do it and y'all can mesh well together yeah, and that's get it amazing. done, that's yeah. cool. Speaking of which, shout out to Big Moss Fitness because, boy, you and your girl, I don't understand how y'all do it. What they saying is it's only one type of exercise you should do with your partner. No, no I'm not saying that. I'm saying that <laughs> when it be like this and you like, that. yeah, we should, we should really get nothing to work out. Yeah, we should. But even at the gym, like, like if you're more, if you are more fit than your partner, um, then it's a little bit challenging to be like, all right, five more sit-ups. All right, because it's like Mm-mm. you're. Yeah, you could. Because uh-huh. you, it's like you're not. I don't know. It's it's like you're telling them what to do, and then that like that that's the disconnect. Now there are partners that can do stuff together, like. Hey, let's go, let's start with the treadmill, and we and we both were sitting and chilling, mm-hmm. talking, doing the treadmill together, and then they go do their thing, I go do my thing. You know what I mean? And that's a lot of times that's what me and upper management do. Like we. Like she'll go, we'll go to the gym together. Right. We'll start like together with something simple, whatever to warm up. She'll go do her thing, whether it's a class, and I go with my weights. You know what I mean? And then hey, we text, hey, you ready? I'm ready. Cool, let's go. Yeah, because my lady told me I tried to kill her when I first when I said to right. Her. And that's the and that's the thing is that and and when you're on two different levels of whatever it may be, then you don't. But we also do classes together, and so so like it's not that you can't do stuff together, but I think that I I don't think you should. I think that right. that's one of those things that like. You know, you should keep. Well, I think like it's okay to do classes together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still gonna, Not, but I'm saying like working, like yeah. consistent, like consistent working, consistently working out together. Sometimes, sometimes can put like. Mm-hmm. I think a big part of our community has children, and I think what you said was a was a really great idea. Yeah, you can use your ki- not use your kids, but you can have your kids as motivation to get out and do something. Your kid doesn't have to stay in front of the TV all day. Mm-hmm. Hey, Johnny, let's go for a walk. Right. Let's go for a family do, run. Let's go to the park. We do have, we, we, we do have overweight, overweight children right. that are super Look, young. Look, Mari don't run them um, big baby shows no more, but don't let your baby be a big baby Mari baby, please. Cause yes, because they be like three, and yeah, they're cute because they're so chunky. But there's a that's that's a big difference between chunky and your child weighing as much as me. And I'm like, we 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 talk about breast milk and collard greens, and that's chunky. So let me, but let me say something too, because y'all like, because y'all are really, oh my gosh, they fat shaming. We are not telling you to go and lose weight right now because you're fat. That's not what we're saying. That that like. Because I'm, it's probably one of the hardest things. It's to one do. of the hardest things to do. Yeah, I am saying that my um, my main thing is mind your health. 
Yeah. Mind your don't um if you want to be a size 26, be, be a, size a size 26. 26. But be a healthy size 26. Don't let that's like, what I'm saying. Yes. Does don't that, does that make sense? No, it does because there are there are people fine. that like there you can, are, can you reach out because y'all aren't because there are people you. that um that there are people that um they are who they are. Their size is who their size is. And there's there is no getting in there's no getting any smaller, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, if I'm a size six and I've been a oh, size six funny. for the last, you know, 10 years, guess what? I'm a size six. That's that's the size I am now, huh? No, go ahead. That's the size I am now. Now, toning that up or making that healthier is a different story. Mm -hmm. Some people are just big, like, thick bone yeah. people. Like, and, you know, I mentioned, like, softball. Like, it's so funny because, like, I'm like, hey, she, like, you softball thick. That means that, like, you are, you, and we say you thick bone, like you, you know what I mean? Like, you got people say, How you say, like, big bone? Yeah, you no, well, I, I guess don't big bone. like that term, but because at the end of the day, everybody's skeletons look the, the same. same, correct? I'm just saying that, like, I was just trying to figure out the term that people use to, uh -huh. like, you know, I'm not, I'm not, because I understand that my skeleton's the same size as everybody else's, mm -hmm. but what I'm trying to say is that people are naturally the size that they are, right? You know what I mean? Without any everybody surgery, not whatever. built to be a size everybody, two, yeah, right. everybody's not built to be a size two. Right. So when you get to your healthy point, then that's your healthy point. Right. Like Court said, whether it's a 26, a, a 18, a, a 12, whatever, whatever a zero, your, yeah, whatever your healthy point is, that is your healthy point. Mm -hmm. And when you and now it's time to maintain that healthy right. point. You and know, a, another thing, I getting love all the. Getting all the the fat sucked out of your stomach does not make you healthy. It does not. It doesn't mean does that the not. fat isn't going to come back. I hate you can that. Go right it back doesn't make the, you healthy yeah. at all. And if you do go that route of like getting a kickstart, is what people want to call that, a kickstart, then you need to continue being healthy. Like so, you can go have that surgery, but doesn't like the shit comes back. Mm -hmm. And wearing a waist trainer but sitting down all day is also not going to maintain gonna it. I we just, should get waist trainers. I have a waist trainer, but one. I don't ever wear it because I don't go to the gym. Well, you did wear it during one episode, and boy, it moved a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. You just sitting on her chin. I did. Like, it was ridiculous. It increased my blood. Like, I literally like, couldn't look crazy. at her without... It was like a pill. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. But, so no, but seriously, like I said, the main thing is mind your health. We don't... I don't care how big you are. I really don't. I hope and it I love me a cuddly pin in the summer. I'm just, I mean, in the winter. I'm just saying. You can say, well, say you can say nigga. Okay. I don't. We have white viewers. You said nigga multiple times. Right? I know. You really did. Okay, well, I love Podcast me. Podcast. This is. I love me a cuddly nigga. Like so. The point in the yeah, winter, that's my thing is just I'm anemic, yeah. so I like being. Just don't sure. get to the point. <laughs> yeah, and then Do also, something. also with health. It's, it's, you know, we think, we always think, especially, I, well, we always think health is like what we eat and what we, what, how we exercise, but, and we mentioned it earlier, health is also your mental status. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's okay I, to be oh, depressed and it's okay to talk wanna, to people. I'm about to, all right, so you, we're segueing, we're segueing to that. So it's so funny and I have to, we credit upper management a lot because upper management has, um, some experience on, on us, but us as uh, us three, she like uh, upper management sorry. has some experience on like on us. Like dealing she's been, us. yeah, not dealing with us. I'm talking about like dealing with life because she she has age on us. Oh, oh she has experience. Life experience. I thought you meant like she knows about different like. We well, that too, right? Yeah, too. that too. Like she, she me, so but so like we talk. We we've talked a lot Ooh. about. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Keep that thought. Comment cash below now and we'll cash out you five dollars. Clarification: Only the first person that comments cash is getting a cash prize. Is all I'm saying. Go ahead. Nice. I'm all about right. to. I'm about to cash. I'm about to be like cash, cash, cash. cash. <laughs> what, how much do you want to do? Cash, cash, cash. No. So, you'll see. You'll see what we're talking about. Yeah. No, I got you. Oh, you so, already know. Yeah. So, um, mental health. And our culture, in the in the black culture, and and I'm not gonna throw shade like just the black culture, because the white culture is like this too. Like the white folks like this too is a little different. But we swear that we we can't be depressed or have any mental issues, or we that you must pray. be weak. Yeah, or we or we got especially especially for our men. But like, or we gotta pray it out or whatever. And it's like, bro, like I believe in God, God can only do so much. But even he be like, bro, go talk crazy. to Sally Mae because not Sally Mae. Cause fuck her, but talk. Go talk to Thelma, Thelma, and and get some get some some help that you need. And for black folks, it's always like 
ain't nothing wrong with you, girl. Go, just, we'll pray about it. It's like, bro, it's but so much praying. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's horrible as a people that, and this is coming up on further episodes, like maybe next episode or something, but where people, like our people especially, like to pick and choose weaknesses. And if you say, hey, I need help, then your community is against you automatically mm -hmm. because if you feel like you're about to go harm yourself or harm others, then clearly there must be something wrong with you or clearly you must be crazy mm -hmm. or cl clearly God didn't answer y'all's prayers. God put education on the earth to us so that people could go out and get degrees and diplomas for you to go talk to someone mm -hmm. because God doesn't necessarily talk back like in that moment go talk to Thelma or Joyce or Barbara or whoever you need to go talk to if you feel more comfortable talking to a Louise than a Catherine or a Sharon a Betty I think it's a Becky a, a Becky a Betty <laughs> Okay. Then go talk to someone. There mm -hmm. are African American therapists. There are African American doctors. There are all of these. What's the word I'm looking for? Professionals. Yeah. 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 But there are also all of these people that you to, can go talk to. I think too that like going with that, but like as a culture, we have to be open to if something's going on with court or UA that I have to be open to lis just just listening to them. Right. You know what I mean? Like as as family, we got we gotta be like like we may not understand it, but it doesn't mean that we can't sit there and like because even just that one conversation may take that person out of a funk from what you got you you have no clue what they were gonna do right. after that. You know what I mean? Like people like uh, su uh suicidal ideation is a real thing, which means that you think about killing yourself. Yeah So um, that's that's a that's a real thing and a real thing within our culture. If you so, don't have insurance, go talk to your best friend. But even then, it's like it's like one of those things too. Is that like we have to realize too that this thing doesn't just happen to adults. This happens to young kids too. This happens to our youth, and it may come from what they have grown up seeing or growing growing up within, or it could just be what how their brain is just wired at right. the time. You know. You had something you wanted to say. I do. Are you looking something up? I'm trying. Oh, I like that song. That's why I pulled it up. There is a reason that there is a song called 1-800-273-8255. That is a song. If y'all don't know what that number is, Say that number again. Is, Say number again. Hold on. 1-800-273-8255. And it will also be tagged in the comments below. Yes. That song is specifically... For people with mental health issues, that is the suicide hotline. Okay? That's when you're pretty much at that point where you can't take it anymore. That is the first, I feel like that's the first thing that people should do. And I understand talking to your pastor. That's sometimes that's a good thing. Talking to a licensed know. professional. Talking to your best friend. There's something I want to bring up as far there's as talking to all those everybody. people go. Because talk that is an outlet. Listen to respond. Not to react. Oh, that's good. Okay? Yeah. The second that someone says, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Oh, girl, you just need some prayer. No. Ask them what or is they, wrong. They gonna What's it. going on? Right. They so that they can tell you. Everything. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. We were female. <laughs> yeah, let them know that they can, that they. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I just processed what y'all said. <laughs> I don't know. But like it's not okay. It's okay. <laughs> but no, no, I agree. But, I agree to everything you're saying. Right. right now. I'm serious though, and yeah, and I'm not being funny, but like, I'll just say it. Fucking that item does not help either. Because now they just be sitting there crying, thinking about what's going on, about getting a very, very temporary fix mm -hmm. for whatever it is that's going on. Right. Listen to the person. Let them talk to you and suggest ways that they can get through it because like you said suicide suicidal ideation ide uh, suicidal yeah, almost there suicidal ideation it's real mm -hmm. and it needs to be understood so and i know this is, is something serious because i have i have i have a friend who told me i i, I made her promise me i said if you ever feel like you're going down that dark path 
tell me first, you know, and maybe, you know, we'll be able to, you know, we'll be able to get through it. And, and like, tacos fix a lot of shit. Okay, not, tacos is just like dick. It don't fix everything, okay? It's a temporary fix. Hey, but Unless y'all go together and get had, some tacos and talk about it. Yeah, we we have a mutual friend that, that did... That we lost to suicide. Well, they lived in our neighborhood. Yeah, um, um, and it's a very unfortunate event because no one, including his family, saw it coming. It was mm -hmm. just like a after now we see, that everybody we had to deal with. You've seen it. it. People have seen it. They just mm -hmm. didn't pay attention to it. I'm not saying y'all did. Well, no, that's like, true. That's like right. Family, family seen it. They just didn't pay attention to that's it. That's facts. Like, people people have their reasons and it's it's unfortunate because now we live in a day and age where we're seeing headlines where eight seven year olds yeah are committing suicide because they're being bullied mm -hmm. and i can only attest for me in my household anybody on the street can look at my son if he gets emotional and be like oh my god why is he like why is he so dramatic but at the end of the day my son's mental health comes before anything so mm -hmm. if my son comes to me crying about something i'm asking him what's wrong i'm mm -hmm. asking him how can we fix it yep. i'm i'm making sure that because my son already has a lot of emotions has, he does mm -hmm. he was he has a lot of emotions from being raised by women but at the end of the day he also has a lot of odds stacked against against him as mm -hmm. being an african-american male I don't want to lose him to suicide because I also like the same way I don't want to lose him to Get police shot. violence or gang, or gang banging or going or getting involved like being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm going to do everything in my control to make sure that my child has the mental health that he needs to know that he does have people to talk to for as long as I have breath in my body. I don't care if I'm 102 and he's he's 87 and needs to is that exactly vent that? about something nah oh, okay. I was obsessed. <laughs> he's so good. and he needs to vent about something i'm still gonna be here for him because he needs that but it's, i think i think that also goes back to like you're talking about like yeah, well both y'all have children but going back to also how we in general is how we handle our kids so mm -hmm. when you have a mother that is always spazzing yeah. on you and everything you do you get getting asked something for or Mm -hmm. Like, we don't realize that as parents, like, I am, I don't have children. I have all nieces and nephews that are like my children, you know, because I'm a, hug them like their parents do, but cave their damn chest like their parents do too, you know. But, um, I, like, for me, it's like, if we, like, as parents or as, like, people that are, like, guardians over them, like, we, we also need to realize what, what damaging, like, what damage we're doing to them, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because kids aren't, like, I mean, yeah, they're getting bullied at school, but they're also, they don't want to come home. home and get bullied. Yeah, like, or they, this or they're subject scared is very all the emotional. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Oh, like... they're scared to come home and say, "Hey, mom, this kid is bullying me." Because right. then, because then their mama's gonna be bullying them too. Like you know what I mean, or right. whatever it may be, or their daddy or whatever. Like um, there's documentaries on there about fucking people, kids. And I, I tell my daughter like this. I tell her, and I'm hoping one day it will really get drilled into her head. But I don't care what the teacher says. I don't care what the principal says. I don't care what anybody says. If something's happening to you in school, first of all, do what you need to do, and we will discuss it later. Because I know that this stuff happens in school. I was bullied when I was younger. And I'm bullying bullied. on the bullying on my scale has evolved. Like oh bullying is a whole but we don't have social media. Social media. Bullying. It was yeah. so bad. regular yes. bullying. Bullying is so bad now that we really, really talk about it. Like, yeah. you know, they had them little ad commercials. Bullies. Yeah. They don't need to be around. And then it just goes away. You're like, okay, cool. They have campaigns and Well, they went from the D.A.R.E. campaign to, from where we grew up to yeah. the bully campaign. So, I tell, and this is for any parent. Like, y'all got to understand, sometimes it is, school life is hard. Especially mm -hmm. from... That um, like you, I was like third, fourth grade. Yeah, though. even right now, my daughter's in fourth grade, and so you know what I'm saying. I'm like I said, if you are getting bullied, pushed, hit, called names, whatever, do what you gotta do, and come and tell me. My, that's my main thing. What you mean, come do what you gotta me. do? Punch him in the face. I don't agree with that. No, I'm wait. Sorry. I'm gonna tell you why. Because if somebody, that. if somebody, if you have a child and somebody comes up to your child and punches them in the face, and then your your son or daughter punches them back. Then you get a call, and then they, you get a call from the principal. 
and your your son or daughter comes in there and says, hey, this is what happened in school today. Because for my daughter, there has to be a buildup. I don't tell her to go in there and go punch everybody in the face that she comes across She's us. so sweet too. She, She's she a sweetheart, she exactly. So for her to do something like that, you have to know your children, first of all. That's right, right. Know your kids. For her to do that, there had to be a buildup. There had to be something that triggered her finally that made her like, yo. So I think I think for me I went in. Like I like I have a nephew that we we like we, we raise. Mm -hmm. And um uh, for us we tell him it isn't like if somebody hits you or calls you a bad name or whatever, you go tell a teacher. Three strike rule. Yeah, three strike rule. Mm -hmm. I have a three strike rule. Mm -hmm. You go tell a teacher, you go tell a teacher. Now you come home and tell us too, because now we have but I think it goes back to like this sounds weird. Well, not it doesn't sound weird, but us as 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 who we are, like black we're folks, we're already looked at as we, like yeah. Like my mm -hmm. my nephew already looks at my. I mean, he has other other special traits, but my nephew already, has already looked at as an, an aggressor, right. Like, right? So for so for me, I like I like for me, I tell him something happens to you, you don't react to it. You mm -hmm. go tell a teacher. Now they're human beings; they still gonna re they may mm -hmm. react to it. Okay, cool. We'll fix we'll figure that out. But if he went and told teacher at least three times. That this one kid, this kid, whoever is doing something, and then that last time he hauls up and beats the shit out of him, guess what? How many times has he said something right. to you, ma'am? Let me say something. What I said about the buildup, that's that include that's included in the buildup. Tell the teacher. Talk to because a lot of times teachers don't understand either. Right. And that's why I said I don't care what the teacher says at that point. When you get to that point where you told the teacher you did everything, you exerted every other means to resolve this issue. You got and your you paperwork. Gotta get a little physical. That's how I feel like you got your paperwork. Yep. You I, got your documentation. I'd like to insert something here right mm -hmm. now because I definitely agree and I have implemented with my son and he knows that there are two different ways that he could go. Mm -hmm. He tells the teacher three times. If the teacher decides at that point he doesn't know like they don't want to do anything or they don't want to take action or they didn't see anything, he has two different methods. For the first, for the first method, if it's a little girl, don't go all, don't go haul off and smack the shit out of her don't like you the baby. Her. And but you you shake yeah. the shit out of her because I will fight for you. At the end of the day, I'm your voice out in the yeah. world, and I will fight for you if you were defending yourself. And if it's a little boy, you beat the brakes off of that little motherfucker, and I will deal with their parents. It me, may be on the back end. But this is, again, as after Malik said, after the buildup, you have three warnings. I'm mm -hmm. going to give you three times to come into my personal space, and then I'm going to beat the brakes off of you. Mm -hmm. And if you lose, this is a thing that builds to that mental... If it you does, lose, because lose, parents lose. get on my nerves Listen, with this already. This, this is a thing that bothers me because if you lose, lose what? A fight. fight. If you have, what if does you, that even mean? This is what, this is like what, this, this, but this is what I'm saying. What it saying. doesn't make sense because parents, they feel like if their child gets knocked down, oh, then you got to turn around and go back and fight them again. Or, no, that's that New York mentality. Or, that situation is over. Or. You get beat by your parents for losing the fight. Yes! Like, at that's the end of the boy, day, that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> I got beat for losing a fight? Like, that's some bullshit. My mom always told me, you don't lose a fight that you, that you, fall, that you fight back. Right. At. And my son doesn't know that. If you, if you go out there and if somebody invaded your personal space, the only thing you need to do is protect yourself yeah. at that point. It's not win, lose, or draw, but it's you telling somebody you will not continue to disrespect me like that that and handle your business yes. there is no loop they're elementary middle and high school kids like fuck all like this is building i'm getting so emotional and so passionate that. about it because this is this There's is what builds that. up to half of y'all fucked up individuals as or adults kids, or kids coming yep. to school with guns or kids yep. exactly you know I mean? or like feeling that. like they need to shoot up the school yep. because they lost two or three fights like not everybody or just because somebody keeps bullying them yeah yeah but i i i say this because recently there has been a documented series on netflix shout out to netflix because i binge watch all the time but there has been a recent documentary, the Gabriel Hernandez or yeah, yeah, Hernandez story. He's not a part of like the black community, but he he's a, is. He's a brown he was person. a he was a brown person, a brown person. and it hurts my heart because his his bullying 
did not come from school. Yeah, His, she was the, in school. Right. He was good in school. His fellow students loved him. He was he was a happy kid in school. His abuse and his torment came from home. Mm -hmm. And it's fucked up because that mom and her boyfriend like really fucked up his psyche. And I recommend everybody to watch it because that really shows how much like your home environment plays into your psyche and your mental health. And I know it seems like we got really off track. No, but if you guys it's, watch yeah. that it's good to talk about the kids. If you guys watch that documentary, you'll see how much like that little boy was so precious but and you were so talking, sweet. Like that's where it starts at. Like for me like mental I was about to say mental it, like it not mental is not because some people are born with that. I'm not saying that like your mama gave it to you or anything mm -hmm. like that. Like some some people are born with with mental health issues. But, like, a lot of it starts with how your parents treat you. And I talk to, I like, I talk to people about that stuff. And, like, like for me, like, I am a, like, confident individual, right? I don't, like, I think highly of myself. But I have people around me that that don't. Mm -hmm. But it's because, you know, I'm my, my mom would never call me ugly. I have cousins mm -hmm. that, like, adored who I was and, like, always made sure I had the nicest and the flyest things on and, and and the women around me were also so powerful towards each other. They never disowned or, or discredited each other. So mm -hmm. for me, like that's how like I don't have that issue. But I I have people around me that all that I know that didn't get to see that. So they they struggle so much with self image, like uh, thinking that they're they're not worthy of certain things and stuff like that because they were never taught to be worthy of that stuff. Right. So and that's why like and that also comes with like who you see your mom dating or your dad dating Facts. and stuff. So, like, that's who you become as an adult also, mm -hmm. you know? And and not that, because I, I have issues too, because even though I had two parents in the home, we had, our own, we had a separate type of different issues that I struggle with as an adult, mm -hmm. you know? So, it's not it's not like, all oh, this shit all goes away because my mom could never call me ugly, but it's one of those things that, like, certain things basically, uh, like, your upbringing... Your upbringing is who you will become as an adult, mm -hmm. you know, or the struggles that you'll have as an adult. Um, so, yeah, so that's, I was going to say, like, so, right. We're not saying knowing your mama and your daddy is going to prevent issues Oh no! In the, in the future. That's not what we're saying. But at the end of the day, calling your child worthless or telling your daddy, um, telling your baby he not shit because he look like his daddy. That's not contributing and that's to not, mental health. And that's health, not his problem. Health. That's your problem. Right. As a chi as a child, if that affected you, if that affects you to this day as an adult, because PTSD is not just for the military. Yes, please go see someone. Mm -hmm. Not go, even go see someone. Call somebody. Call somebody. Mm -hmm. Go see someone. Hell, um, confront your parents. If y'all want to vent like in the comments, y'all could y'all could comment below. Comment I, below because I'm nosy and I will read it. We'll respond. And if you if you don't feel if you don't feel comfortable confronting your parents or making or building those um what's what we call it um what does upper management call it building those um report no 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 uh not guidelines but like um I can't think about it but as an adult it is okay to tell your parents that they off. hurt you yes. It's yes. okay. Like and I know, I, they may not know. Well, I struggle I mean, well, I into my into my life. I struggle with make boundaries. I struggle with building those boundaries with my own mother. I was thinking that word. Okay. Yeah, boundaries. I struggle building that ba those boundaries because we always think, "Well, that's my mama. She ain't going nowhere." She went. But like at the same time, it's one you're an adult, but two, like like I'm learning that you have you can't sacrifice your happiness or your your peace for someone else that may have their own issues going on because just like we struggle with our childhood issues our parents are struggling with their childhood issues right. too that because of especially with their age and their generation they they don't they talk going to talk to somebody ain't an option you know right. what i mean um but for us we are more open to a lot more things that we like we're able to go out and talk to somebody for the right. most part where our parents you know so we have to learn what those boundaries are and like i said like i'm learning to not sacrifice my peace and my happiness for anyone else whether that's my parent my brother my sisters my my spouse anybody like i'm not gonna sacrifice that for somebody else because right. then i should then i'm on suicide watch and shit like that's, I, you can't live for anybody but yourself but what 
I think what we're all driving home is be it mental, be it physical, be it like the, your food intake. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself First. so that you can help take care of others. Mm -hmm. And don't necessarily pass your negative traits down to those of you who have an offspring. Because this this is a cycle that also happens to be generational. Mm -hmm. And that generational mental illness will continue to spiral out of control yeah. if we don't catch it now. Right, right. I'm good. Y'all y'all said the dog. I'm straight. <laughs> I'm about to get my kids so, together and take them for a walk. Yes. I, 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 might, I might tell a woman who's to that. So for if y'all need any information for anything, please comment down below. And I'll have we, the number to the suicide hotline. We will have the number to the suicide hotline, but we will help with anything, whether it's children, adults, old people. Now, when we say help, that don't mean we watching your seven kids no, in your household. That's, that's not, not what we going to do. I mean, help we'll give like you suggestions. Right. We'll we can link. give you options. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, like, I, I think that it's very important for all of us to be healthy. Uh, and like, like, uh, Courtney said, and that may be different for everybody else, but we should all figure out what healthy is for us. Yes. And maybe that'll help us be a happy culture, happier culture too. Yes. To the point where we're not canceling shit. Yeah, everything. So we come to the conclusion that we're not counting the baby, right? I can't cancel the baby because it's right. Can, no. The baby, can you stop slapping the show, people. Though? Yeah, please, because we really like you. Yeah. Just and have your security guard. Though. I want to say, and I, I'm very happy <laughs> you that, you, kill that you made it because you're like you're like the perfect mix of ignorant rapper, but. He's smart not at right. the same time, like he's no, he's not. I'm not saying he's he's, he's a smart. He, he's saying that he's like a hardcore rapper. Yeah, like, he's, he's, like, he's the perfect yeah. mixture. Like he's not that, we fuck because like stops like Drake's people. a rapper, but he sings his rap song. True. Yeah, but Drake yeah. is not hard. You that's what I'm saying. Like Drake, Drake will his raps are hard. The handicap hit off of the yeah. His raps are hard, so I understand that, but. <laughs> like, then you, like you, you tough man. If people stay trying to get you down, you giving back to the city. You doing this, that, and third. All you gotta do is control your temper. And since you're so bit, given, if please. you happen to want to just like update our equipment or something, because we talked I about I you, I don't this think you don't want to do that because y'all both talk about being. I don't give a fuck. I didn't but talk about beating him up. Hey, I just said if he bring, wanted to pull up, it's whatever. And bring, he should respect that as a I real nigga. That's all I'm saying. And to bring both of our <laughs> conversations into <laughs> one, the baby and our our health issues is that. And then go see somebody, bro. Yeah, get some help. And, and, if, if you, the thing too. and this is this is like nigga to nigga. Like if if you feel like you want to drop kick every nigga that bring a camera in front of you as a celebrity, you really need to go talk to somebody. That's some real shit. You really need to go talk to somebody because you got a point. Because right. you're you're out in the limelight and you are becoming. This faint, like you, you, you are feeling, but you're you're growing every single day. And if you want to come talk on the show and mention your problems, we're here. Too. Yes, yes. but like the brain came. I'm cry. I'm dead. This nigga talking about crying. She talking about the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I am just trying to get you. Just to don't be a flash him in his face. I'm trying to get you to be a healthy black man, and they talking about some other dumb shit. We I'm, just I'm want to hear. I'm like we just want, want the background. Baby. Like all we're saying is, if he want to come on the show. Come on the show. Yes. Thank y'all for tuning in to Thank our you. podcast today. And we'll see you next week. Yes. Go I got to get my, uh, yeah, I'm going to get my son, my daughter, and we going to. And my lady, we gonna all go for a walk. I'm gonna go for a walk today, too. Yep. And my son gonna go with her for a walk. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> She's sticking to herself. Sub so thick, Jar. I like them thick. Get rid of